Hi, Peter Charles here, Folk to Life Fly Fishing, and we're going to tie a small black caddis uh, emerger, the granum emerger. And I'm going to do a dangerous thing. I'm going to tie it from memory. And not only that, this memory is about 20 years old. Uh, I caught fish on this particular fly uh, on the Osable uh, River in Grayling, Michigan. And um, I saw fish coming off. Uh, sorry, I saw caddis coming off. I saw the fish taking them. And I had nothing in my box that looked anything like what was coming off. So the fly shop, if you know the area, the fly shop is literally right off the river. So I hopped up, put my rod up against a rack and ran in and said, have you got anything that's tiny and looks like a little emerging caddis? We went through all his racks, could hardly find anything. I finally came up with a little fly, tied it on, went outside and banged fish for the rest of the afternoon. It was great fun. And I've tied this fly since uh, and then, you know, sort of stopped using it. Um, so... Doing it from memory, 20-year-old memory. Hopefully I'll get it right, uh, and it is an effective little uh, pattern. So uh, let's get going and see, see what we're using for materials. For a hook, I'm using the Daiichi uh, 1270. Uh, this is a size 20. Um, you could use a TEMCO 200R. You could also use a straight shank hook in a size 20 as well, uh, like a dry fly hook in a size 20. That will work. My thread is black vivas in a 10 aught. The body is going to be a strand of peacock curl. We're going to put some flash on here, and I've got two different kinds of flash. Uh, both these are quite fine. I'm going to go with this uh, pearlescent crystal flash. It's very, very thin stuff. The standard crystal flash is a little too thick, so you could use this is uh, angel silk. That would work as well. Something that's really fine, that's what you want for the flash. And the wing is going to be just the tips of a brown a partridge feather. So let's get started. Now this has a relatively short body, so don't go back too far. You tie on our strand of peacock curl. Bring your thread forward. Now the peacock curl I'm using, oh, I was just about to say, it's thin stuff, it'll break easy, so what happens, I broke it. So let's start all over. Wind my thread back. Now you're saying to yourself, this is gonna thicken things up a little bit, and yes, it will, but um, it's a caddis body. Caddis bodies are thick. So I'm going to go without uh, hackle pliers this time. See if we can get this to wind on. I prefer hackle pliers just for keeping grip on things, but we'll see if we can manage without them. There. Now for our crystal flash. Fold it back and trap it and trim it off the length of the body. Now we're gonna come in with our partridge feather and just lay it on top. You can see how I've pulled the the tip back and then I'm just going to pull it so the wing is just about the length of the hook. So we want it maybe just a smidge longer than the body and then trim off. Now the only hassle I found when you pull a feather through is it tends to crowd the eye. You can see that um, because what happens is when you pull a feather through, you're pulling the threads as well. So you might want to just try to make some room there. Use the thread to catch it and pull it away. There we go. 
So that is the one downside to pulling like that is you pull your threads towards the eye of the hook. So just if it starts to move, just spread it around. And we'll whip finish. Okay, there's our little Granum Caddis Emerger. Well, now let's talk about how to fish this thing. You can see the use of the crystal flash, and you can see what it looks like through the wing. It, it creates all that little bubbly effect. A lot of these uh, Caddis Emergers will puff up with gas to help them get to the surface. And that's what that crystal flash uh, tends to imitate. And you can see what that looks like. I mean, it, it really glows through that little wing. And the, the idea of the wing is, is it's the concept of the legs of the emerger as it's swimming its way up. Now, to fish this thing, if you see a fish taking emergers in the typical emerger rise, which is more of a bulge than anything else, cast upstream of where you see the bulge and beyond it. Start to swing it on a tight line, and then when you get close to where you think the fish is, give it a few little strips and just pop it through the water, just little short strips like that. And it's usually when you move it is when they hit it. Uh, I didn't find it that effective on a dead drift, but as soon as you started giving it that little pulse, bam, they were on it. It's the movement that really catches their eye. And you only really need to be about that far out of the water. You don't have to get this thing down at all. So give it a try. It's the uh, Granum Emerger or Mother's Day Caddis, however you want to term it. And this little thing really works. And by the way, I got it right. <laughs> it's a, that's exactly what it's supposed to look like. Anyway, give it a try. Cheers.